everybody. My name is Miss Valerie. What's your name? Oh, that's a beautiful name. It's so lovely to see you today. Welcome to our warm and cozy library program. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna listen to a song. You're gonna hear about some of my favorite stories and some other surprises along the way. Now, I know we can't get together in person right now, but maybe we can sing a song about getting together and that'll be really nice. I think you might know this one. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great singing. Now, here are some of my favorite stories to read during the chilly months that make me feel nice and warm and cozy. The first one is called Super Truck by Stephen Savage. In this story, we see lots of different types of trucks doing brave things in the city all day. But one night, a terrible blizzard happens and one special truck ends up being the unexpected hero. I love this story because of the special message it gives to us all. That no matter who you are, there's always a brave hero waiting inside you, ready to make the world a better place. My next story is called Penguin on Vacation by Selena Yoon. In Penguin on Vacation, we learn that even penguins sometimes need a break from the cold weather. Our friend the penguin decides to hit the beach and ends up having more than just a wonderful time. He ends up making a best friend. I love this story because it's a wonderful tale about going to a warm place, being on a fun vacation, and it's also about friendship. I know we probably all miss seeing our friends right now, but don't forget there are good days ahead. And remember, this book along with thousands of others are available to check out at the Ocean County Library. Speaking of good days, it's always a good day when we get to wear our favorite pair of underwear. Okay, I'm gonna need your help with this one. This is my friend, the polar bear. Can you say hi? We are going to need your help finding his favorite pair of underwear. Do you think you can help? You can? Great, let's get started. Polar bear, what's wrong? Oh, I've lost my favorite pair of underwear and I have no idea where they've gone. Okay, polar bear, what color are your favorite pair of underwear? They are plain and white. Okay, polar bear, let's look for your favorite pair of plain white underwear. Here they are, polar bear. These are your favorite pair of plain white underwear. No! These underwear are red. They are nice, but these are not my favorite pair. Okay, polar bear, let's try again and see if we can find your favorite pair of plain white underwear. Here they are, polar bear. Are these your favorite pair of underwear? No, these underwear are purple. Purple is nice, but these are not my favorite pair of plain white underwear. Okay, polar bear, let's try again and see if we can find your favorite pair of plain white underwear. Here they are, polar bear. These are your favorite pair, right? No, these underwear are blue Yankees underwear. These are nice, but these are not my favorite plain white pair. Plus, I am more of a Mets fan anyway. Okay, polar bear, let's try again and see if we can find your favorite pair of plain white underwear. Here they are, polar bear. These are your favorite pair. No, these underwear are green with polka dots. These are very snazzy, but they are not my favorite plain white pair. Okay, polar bear, let's try again and see if we can find your favorite pair of plain white underwear. Oh, here they are. Are these your favorite pair of underwear, Polar Bear? Yes, you found them. My favorite pair of underwear. So nice and clean and plain and white. I just love them with all my might. Thank you so much for helping me find my favorite pair. You're welcome. 
But why are your favorite pair so plain and white, polar bear? Wouldn't you rather wear a more colorful pair of underwear? No, you see. When I wear my plain white underwear, I can finally blend in with the snow and take a nice nap, and no one will see me or disturb me. <sighs> okay, polar bear, that sounds good. Have a nice nap. Sweet dreams. Goodbye. It's pretty amazing that some animals like our friend the polar bear can still be warm and cozy sleeping in the cold snow. Brr! For our next activity, I'm gonna need your help again. Let's look at some of our favorite animals and guess whether they like to have a nice nap where it's warm or where it's cold. Okay, first, here's our buddy, the penguin. Do you think our penguin likes to sleep where it's hot? Or do you think our penguin likes to sleep where it's cold? Yep, you guessed it. Our penguin loves the nice, chilly weather. So our penguin will be having a nice nap right by this iceberg. Next we have a toucan. Hi, toucan. I like your beak. Can you all help me out and guess whether our toucan likes to sleep where it's warm or where it's cold? If you guessed warm, you are right. Our toucan loves the sunny hot weather, so she will be taking a nice nap under this palm tree. And next we have our friend, the reindeer. I think you can tell by this nice warm fur that our reindeer has, that our reindeer likes to sleep and live right by this iceberg where it's nice and chilly. Next, it looks like we've come upon a camel. Can anyone guess whether our camel likes to sleep under the hot sun or in the chilly cold by this iceberg? Our camel loves to live where it is hot. So our camel will be having a nice nap underneath the sun and this palm tree. Next, we have a very special and unique creature. Does anyone know who this is? If you guess narwhal, then you are right. Narwhal, the unicorn of the sea. Just look at that horn. Now, does anyone know if our narwhal likes to swim around in the tropical hot water or in the chilly Arctic cold water? Oh yes, our narwhal loves the cold weather. So our narwhal will be taking a nice nap right by this chilly iceberg. And last but not least, we have who? A flamingo. Does anybody know if our flamingo prefers the hot sunny weather or the chilly cold icy weather? Oh yes, our flamingo likes the hot sunny weather so she will be taking a nice nap underneath this palm tree. Okay, sleep tight, little animals, and thanks for playing, everyone. Next, we are going to make a cozy mitten craft together. Follow along for the instructions. Find some paper and a pencil, and either trace or freehand the shape of a big mitten. Then, cut out your mitten and always practice safety when using scissors. Definitely ask for help from a grown-up if you're still learning scissor skills. Once you're done, grab your glue stick and a few cotton balls and glue on the cotton balls to make the cuff of your mitten. This will make your mitten look extra fluffy and cozy. Then the fun part. Decorate your mitten using whatever you'd like. Foam, stickers, gems, sequins. Use your imagination to give your mitten some special pizzazz.
All done. Great job. Now it's time for a hot cocoa break. Don't you agree? Here's my favorite recipe. Empty a packet or two of delicious hot cocoa mix into your favorite mug. Then with help from a grown up, heat up some water or your favorite kind of milk. Add the warm milk or water to your mug. Then mix it up really well with a spoon. Now add stuff, mini marshmallows, cinnamon, candy canes, whipped cream, cookie crumbs, whatever you like. Make sure it's not too hot now. And then lift, sip, yum. Well, I hope you had some fun today with me. I know I sure did. Thanks so much again for coming. Bye-bye. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.